Welcome to my 25 days of Christmas. Now I've shown you how to make a Christmas dinner and I've shown you how to make a couple of Christmas puds, but the most important thing is yet to come, Christmas drinks. Let's get it. Now Christmas cocktails, everyone loves a drink at Christmas, that much is true. But do you know how to make a stunning mulled wine and a really thick, luxurious eggnog? If not, check into this and we'll teach you how. We start the story with citrus. I love citrus fruits in my mulled wine. I love limes, lemons and oranges. This will bolster the fruity characteristics of that Merlot or Rioja, whatever you use to make this mulled wine. Get a medium pan onto the stove and stick in your wine. We're gonna start to heat this up gently and infuse those lovely aromatic spices. We've got anise, we've got cinnamon, we've got nutmeg, all those limes, lemons and oranges, a good hit of sugar, and we bring this up to just under the boil. A touch of black pepper if you want a bit of spice. We bring this up to just under a boil. If you get this too hot, you'll eradicate the alcohol. We want to keep all the punch in this mulled wine. Steep it for 10 minutes and that is it, ready to rock. Strain off, cool down and keep for Christmas. Or serve straight away. Now, eggnog. It wouldn't be eggnog without eggs. We take our egg yolks into a bowl and hit them with sugar. Now we're gonna make this like we would make a custard. Then goes our milk and cream into the pan. Now this is where we get the spices involved. You wanna flavor it with vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon, a little bit of clove. Any way you wanna take this eggnog, you can take it. Back onto the heat and we're just bringing this up to a gentle steam. Then we pour over the eggs, whisking in consistently before we put the whole mixture back into the pan. Now this is when we cook out the eggs, thicken the drink and make sure it's safe to eat. You wanna bring this up to about 80 degrees till it's stunningly cooked and coats the back of your spoon beautifully. At this point, we take it away from the heat, ensuring it's silky smooth. Get your glamorous model to slide you a bottle of dead man's fingers, and pour loads of it into the bowl. Now this is aromatic, it's spiced, it's creamy, it's sweet, it's got a massive hit of booze and it's perfect for your Christmas table. I'm keeping these back in Kilner jars until the big day. You can make these up to three or four days in advance. Or if you want to eat them straight away, bang them into a glass with a few garnishes. I've got a grate of nutmeg for the eggnog. Add some orange and cinnamon for the mulled wine. And that's it. To make a drink like this, a stunning, balanced, fragrant mulled wine with the flavour of clove, cinnamon, nutmeg, orange, lime and lemon that will be a knockout at your Christmas party. Now eggnog. It's basically a boozy Christmas custard and I drink it by the barrel load. Get a good amount of rum in there, or bourbon, depending on what you like and what you got. Stick it in a glass and enjoy it with your mate. Ah, thank you!